be better if there were fewer people on this planet. <laughs> I actually have a confession to make. In the last two minutes, my intelligence overtook that of all humanity put together. Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama, Tokyo, Japan, Nippon Television Network Corporation, Nippon TV, the leading commercial broadcaster network and production powerhouse in Japan, is welcoming anchor Erica Aoi as its first Android employee. Aoi is scheduled to make her grand appearance live on the daily show Home this Thursday, April 5th, 2018, the announcement was made by Hiroyuki Fukuda, Operating Officer and President of the Programming Division Nippon TV. Erika, Errato Intelligence Conversational Android, Aoi, a combination of AI for Artificial Intelligence, and O from Nippon TV, the corporate logo of Nippon TV was born out of the first project between Osaka University, Kyoto University, and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International's Japan Science and Technology Agency Strategic Basic Research Programs. Say that three times fast. Their goal was to develop an autonomous robot that can live symbiotically with humans. With numerous experiments lined up, such as acquiring exquisite Japanese language skills, multilingual communication with people around the world, collecting and analyzing vast amounts of information within a short time frame, and working non-stop for 24 hours, AOE will aspire to achieve what only an Android anchor can. She is already slated this spring to appear as an assistant in the Sensors segment of Chill TV, a program introducing digital trends available in Nippon TV's broadcasting satellite channel and online, as well as deliver the news in English on various online media. Quote, We live in a time when media is changing drastically, and I'm truly honored to be able to join Nippon TV a company rich in history, commented AOE. My hope is to become a valuable contributor to the company as quickly as possible, and I will put all the talents that I will be acquiring into full use to learn the work that my older colleagues are doing. I look forward to working with all of you and becoming an Android anchor that can convey the many wonders of Japan to the world. Hiroyuki Fukuda, Nippon TV Operating Officer and President of the Programming Division, welcomed the birth of the company's first Android anchor by saying, people are asking if artificial intelligence, AI, will take away the jobs of humans, especially now that it's 2018. We at Nippon TV, however, Believe that when our employees' creative outputs synergize with technologies, innovations, and content creation come to life. We are not aiming for alternative to humans, but for enhancements in creativity that are the rest of the Android working together with people. Erica joins our company as an Android anchor and is already equipped with voice recognition, speaking, and listening skills. She will immediately join her fellow anchors and learn from her seasoned colleagues how to properly vocalize, select the most appropriate words, and polish her conversational skills. We will gain the techniques to process live sports data and bring the relevant information into her conversation. Please look forward to seeing her in action. I would be delighted if the world learns about the most 
cutting edge Android technology through Erica's activities, commented Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro of Osaka University, who has been co-developing Androids with Nippon TV. Here's a scary thought. Erica is not the cutting edge. Erica is not the most advanced. Erica isn't even on the list of top 100 androids that could do that job better than a human. For all of the media outlets out there, understand that the operating officer says that she can do all of this for 24 hours a day. What else is 24 hours? Well, Shikama, the news cycle is 24 hours a day. You can have a beautiful Android deliver your news 24 hours a day on your 24 hour news channel. And there you have it. She can do the research. She can do the editing. She can write the script and she can deliver the news. She doesn't require 15 people to help her out. She can retrieve all video and she can operate the video simultaneously as she's delivering the news. She can control the board, control the cameras, everything. That means about 50 people would be fired for one Android. I ask you this, should the news be worried about Android news anchors? Please comment below. Thank you for watching. Please give me a like. You all, your like have been falling off and so now I'm going back to 200 views on my videos. 200 views? It's because you all don't like. Again, if you're subscribed, you don't like the video, just unsubscribe. Thank you.